Welcome back to my channel. I just did a quick shopping trip through Lululemon to check out their spring collection for men's clothing. And I just wanted to take you through it. Let's do it. Okay, I really got a lot of stuff here, like $500 worth of stuff. Let's start with some shorts. Okay, I kind of love these. These are the Pacebreaker short five inches, not lined. So these are super lightweight. The quality feels really great. You know, that's the hard thing about a lot of these shorts companies is I feel like they skimp on the zipper pockets and I feel like Lululemon just doesn't do that, right? I think they've got a great color. I have a feeling there's a pocket here somewhere. I just can't really figure it out right now. But I feel comfortable squatting. I think they're a great length, a great cut. I'm a big fan. There are $68, which actually is pretty standard for a shorts company. So these are right in line. Highly suggest. Great. Moving on, moving on. Okay, this is the Dry Sense hoodie. Go ahead, sweat. This training top, powered by our anti-stink technology, won't cling and feels good against sweaty skin. Good to know. Yeah, I really like it. This is a size small, and it feels like it actually is long enough in the front and in the back. Also, the arms are really great. It feels like this is the appropriate size for a small because if we were to go up to a medium, I think it wouldn't really hug as well as this type of top should. I'm interested in what y'all think about the neck because it's definitely like specific. It's a pretty high neck and it crosses over here. I don't hate it. It's not like a turtleneck, but it's definitely not like a cropped neck either. Let's see, what does this look like? I always think it's funny when these things have hoods because it's like, in what circumstance do you actually use the hood section? Except for if it was like raining. In which case, your hair is kind of done anyway, so. Yeah, it's okay. I like the top more than I like the hood accessory of it. I kind of wish the hood was gone. But I think it's very well made and the cut is really, really nice. It's not like crowding my armpits too much. Yeah, I like this. Okay, these are the Pacebreaker shorts, five inches. So these are the same exact shorts actually, just a different pattern. Wait, I really like the pattern. Like, I think they're super unique. They feel great. And again, 68 bucks. So just exactly in line with other shorts company. I feel like in the past, when I've gotten Lululemon shorts, they've been a little boxy. They're not quite as athletic as like a 10,000 or a Noble. And I feel like they've kind of figured that out. There isn't quite so much fabric in the inseam. I feel like they've really like figured out the sizing around your leg. I think they just look really, really nice. And in terms of working out in them, I mean, we'll see, but they seem like they're not really riding up. I like that they're not lined because we all wear Under Armour or, you know, compression shorts underneath anyway. So why do we need that extra? I'm a big fan. Okay, here we've got the license to train tank. Here's what I'll say. Uh, this was the only tank that they had in the store. And I asked why that was, and they said maybe they'll be getting more in as we get closer to summer, but for their spring line, they only have this one. Apparently there are more colors online, so check that out. The color is very interesting to me. You know, me being colorblind, I don't know exactly what this color is. I would say it's like kind of like quintessential magenta. What does it say on here? Do you think that MGPR is magenta purple? Who's to say? But it's not a color that I wear very often. So I, I'm not like a huge fan of it. I like that it doesn't crowd my armpits because this has been like a huge problem for me lately of armpit chafing because the armpits are too high up in the shirt. I'm just not crazy about this one, unfortunately. It's a bummer because I love a tank top. You know that. Okay, these are the pool short, five inches. Yeah, I thought I was really gonna love these, but for some reason they decided that they were gonna like make these super baggy around the leg, you know? And I'm like, why did you do that? We don't need pool shorts to be baggy, it's just kind of ugly. I like the color and the pattern of it. I think that is really nice. I just don't know why it had to be like, we could have tailored swim shorts, like we're allowed to do that, right? <sighs> Such a bummer. These were the only swim shorts in the store that I liked, just pattern-wise, and I'd say that they're definitely a no-go for me. I'll be returning these because it doesn't look good. It's not appealing to walk around the beach with these like giant parachute swimsuits on, right? So, no! Okay, I know I've shown you these before, but I had to get another pair because they're my absolute favorite pants in the entire world. These are the ABC joggers. And here's what I'll say, I, I love this color. I was like, I, I gotta have it. These are size small, and I usually get a size extra small. And honestly, I might keep the smalls. The extra smalls fit, but they're definitely a little too small for me because the seams will rub against each other, and then I'll get a hole in the seam. 
That being said, I always just take it to the Lululemon store and they fix it for me for free. Or if they don't want to fix it, they'll just give me a new pair, which is also amazing customer service. So I have pairs of the ABC joggers that I've had for four or five years, which is pretty insane. But I love this color. I love the fit of them. You can do any workout you need. They are really great for doing warm-ups and squatting or even doing full workouts in them. They also, as a trainer, they just look nice, right? When you are walking into a client, you feel very confident walking in with these pants on. My other favorite thing about these pants that every pant company should do is that you have the drawstrings on the outside, right? I don't like that. I want it to be simple. And Lululemon fixed that. They made it so that you can actually hide the drawstrings on the inside, just pull it through, which I think is brilliant. Every, every, every company should do that because it just makes the clothes look so much cleaner and makes the line so much better. So the pants are expensive, right? They're $128. Lululemon does not go on sale very often. I will say, if you're a trainer, you can sign up for the Sweat Collective and that is 20% off anytime that you go. So you do have to prove that you're a trainer, show them your schedule, all that stuff, but it's worth it for sure. These pants are amazing. I just have to decide if I want to size down to the extra smalls or just keep the smalls. I kind of like them. We'll see. I really like this. Okay, this is the Dry Sense short sleeve. It is $78, which is a little too expensive for a shirt for me. But in terms of the fit of the shirt, I think that it hugs here very well. It's long here. That is great. I'm a little nervous that it's a little too tight around the armpits. That's a bummer. But the pattern and the color, I'm such a big fan of. Yeah, I really like this. And in terms of the fabric, their fabric that they pick is always amazing. Sweating in it, it stays super light. It doesn't feel like you are suffocating in that shirt because it has too much cotton in it. Yeah, this is, uh, this is probably one of my favorite Lululemon shirts that I've ever gotten. <sighs> what to do, what to do. <laughs> Lastly, we've got the engineered warmth long sleeve crew. Now, I really like this. I think I'm nervous. You definitely couldn't dry it. It's already feeling a little snug, but I'm afraid that sizing up to the medium would be a little like an oversized sweatshirt. It's definitely manufactured well, and I like the texture here. I like, you know, that it's a little unique that the texture stops. I'm a little confused at what I'd be using this for because it's too heavy to work out in, but it's not fancy enough to like dress this sweater up. So I like it, but I can't think of any occasion when I would wear it, so it's probably a no from me. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is just work out in the clothes, right? So, let's do it. My decisions. The pace breaker short and five inches, both of these I'm a big fan. These ones because I love how vibrant the blue is and this one because I just love the pattern. I think it's so unique and so chill. Big, big fans of these shorts and they're not a horrible price for Lululemon. My favorite shirt was absolutely the Dry Sense short sleeve. I think that the pattern is so cool. I love the color. I love the feel and the fit of it. Working out in it feels like a dream. So. This is absolutely one of my favorite shirts I've ever tried on, and I will absolutely be keeping this one. And then honorable mention goes to the License to Train tank. I don't love this color, it's not really something that I'd wear, but I'd highly suggest checking out the other colors online because Lululemon tanks have been absolutely the most durable tanks that I've ever had from any company, and so they're definitely going to be worth your money in that regard. Honestly, oh yeah, and how could I forget? The ABC joggers are always my favorite piece of clothing I've ever bought anywhere, so highly, highly suggest I just feel like I'm kind of a broken record on that because I've mentioned them before and you know, I'm just a very, very big fan. Everything else here is kind of a no-go for me. I don't really know when I would wear these, so I wanted to give them a try, but these will be in the return bin for sure. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that Lululemon clothing haul. If you have any ideas for clothing companies that you want me to review next, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Just give me a like. That's super, super helpful for the channel. And I'll see you back next time. Thank you.